In my previous two videos about Moore and Norman, we talked a lot about the really boring stuff like neighborhoods and schools and population, etc. But why do people actually choose one town over the other? Moore and Norman are both in the same county. They are both in Cleveland County. However, Norman is known for being more liberal or more moderate than Moore. Norman is actually known for being one of the most liberal places in Oklahoma. You can see from these election results in 2022 that the Democrat candidate for governor actually won Cleveland County. And this is because Norman, that's much bigger in population size than Moore actually voted for the Democratic candidate because Norman tends to vote blue. Another reason that Norman tends to be more liberal is probably the main reason is because of the University of Oklahoma being present in the town. Moore is a really easy drive to Oklahoma City. From my brother-in-law's house in Moore, which is just south of 19th Street, it actually takes about 19 minutes to get from his house to Devon Tower, which is right in the middle of downtown. And that's with no traffic, but we really don't have that much traffic here. For my house in North Norman, it's actually a 24 minute drive from my house to the Devon Tower. And then from South Norman, it can be 30 minutes plus from a house in South Norman all the way to the Devon Tower in downtown Oklahoma City. So usually when I have people call me from out of state wanting to move to Oklahoma, they do not want to live in Moore, and that's because of tornadoes. So there's this perception that Moore has the most tornadoes of any place in Oklahoma and the most dangerous ones. And tornadoes are very scary, I will give you that. I drove through and worked in the aftermath of the 2013 tornado and it wasn't fun. It looked like an explosion had gone off in the town, a really big explosion. But Oklahoma City is actually the city with the most tornadoes of any other town in Oklahoma. So keep that in mind. As a young person or someone who feels like they're still young, Norman is just a great place for a young person to live. I would have a really hard time living anywhere but Norman. There's something about Norman that is just vibrant and it's something that I don't feel whenever I am in Moore. I do go to Moore a lot for shopping. I own rental properties in Moore, but I I definitely don't feel the same vibe in Moore that I do in Norman. And that's really important to me. In Norman, it's the downtown, it's the shopping, it's my coffee shops and my bookstore. It's all the things that make it the town that I wanna live in. It's an energy that I would really only feel the same type of energy in maybe the Plaza or Paseo district in Oklahoma City but that would be really tough for me to live in Oklahoma City. And at the same time, Norman is known for being a family-friendly town. And all I'm saying by this is that people with kids like it here in Norman because there are so many things to do. There are so many activities in Norman and it's not like Moore doesn't have activities because they totally do. But Norman is a big, big town, um, 128,000 plus people. There are just a lot of activities for families and for kids. So along with Norman being really big, we also have places like the Young Family Athletic Center, which is opening up in 2024, it looks like. And then there's so many other places too, where you know you can sign your kids up for activities or go do family fun events. I hear from my real estate clients that they really love raising their families in Norman. Norman is just a much bigger town than Moore. Norman is the third largest city in Oklahoma and Moore is the seventh largest city and it does make a big difference. Norman at times can feel like its own metropolitan area where Moore feels more like the sleeper town, the bedroom community that it is. What do you think? Anything else that you would add? Please drop them in the comments for me. I'm Mercy Billen, I am a real estate agent, and I do live in Norman, Oklahoma. You may have guessed that. Please give me a call if I can help you. If you haven't seen my first two videos on Moore versus Norman, please go watch those next, and I will see you next time.